Hello everyone. It's no mistake. This one is being done in the dark. All you see is two little white dots. The final story in paranormal research and investigations, real stories. I wasn't even on a hunt this night. I was visiting a friend when I felt heat all around me sitting in a chair. When I looked up in the corner of her living room, there was a dark mass staring with two white dots in the middle. They actually blinked. Terrifying. As we sat there looking at it get darker and darker and darker it moved around the room and disappeared into the fireplace we didn't know what to make of it except for it was supernatural and it was mad angry dark hot. My friend's young child woke up. I went upstairs to grab a couple of diapers for her. When I saw a man sitting there in a chair, I thought maybe it was her uncle. I said, hello, how are you? He said, I'm doing just fine. My name is Jacob. I said, hi, I'm Al and I grabbed the diapers. When I returned back downstairs, my friend said, who are you talking to? I said, that's not your uncle? He said his name was Jacob. She said, no one's here but us and the kids. I said, no, there's a man sitting upstairs in a chair. He was not there when I went back upstairs. I could see him clearly. He was gone. When I returned back downstairs, her two other children woke up screaming, saying the little girls won't leave us alone. I saw two little girls run through her kitchen, and so did my friend. We heard them giggling as they made their way downstairs into the basement. We didn't know if we should go down there. So we left that one alone. We now knew that we were surrounded by ghosts. Jacob upstairs, the dark mass, and now the two little girls. We begin to hear footsteps coming down. They stopped right in the middle of the staircase and turned around and went back upstairs. I looked up the stairs. I saw what looked like Jacob standing there. And then he disappeared. We stayed up as long as we could that night till we finally fell asleep. My friend on the couch, me in a chair. Then I was awakened by my dreadlocks being pulled up in the air and then snatched very hard. My friend woke up screaming as she saw these two little girls turn, look at her, stick their tongues out, and then turn and run away. For the rest of the night, I had to keep holding my hair because they kept coming back, even while we were awake, pulling on it and then giggling I followed them into the basement. Big mistake. It wasn't two little girls. They melted into one and turned into the big black mass. 
He started to chase me. I ran up the stairs, slammed the door like an idiot. It came flying through the door and knocked me to the floor. Needless to say, we packed our children up. We left. And I took her to her father's house. That was the most terrifying night of my life. So I thought I should tell it to you in darkness. Remember, be afraid. Be very afraid. And always put love, peace, and understanding out there into the cosmos. And now I'm going to tell you something funny. When I was about eight years old, seven years old, my big sister, who was nine, ten years older than me, decided to take me out for Halloween. I was dressed as Bozo. Bozo the Clown. She told me nobody would be out there. Nobody would be outside. It was four o'clock in the afternoon. Who's going to be out? We jumped on a bus that was full of Chrysler workers. Needless to say, I was so embarrassed I started to cry. Those workers went into their pockets and started giving me cash just to make me stop crying. An entire busload of guys. My favorite Halloween. Dressed as Bozo. Love, peace, and understanding. Put it out there. It'll always come back to you. Good night.